cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Oh, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. You talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow, also follow me on all my social media platforms to stay connected with all Keek on the Mic news. Before I will go any further, I want to remind you guys once again, the people that are viewing Keek on the Mic videos, 69.1% of you guys are still not subscribing to the channel. Um, the good news is that number continues to go down. So once again, if you are subscribing while watching my videos, thank you guys so much once again. If you're watching my videos and you're not subscribing to the channel, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. I would really appreciate that. All right, Bears fans. Um, I have a really interesting topic today. And today on the podcast, I want to talk about our quarterback our franchise quarterback, Justin Fields. And I know I've said this before that I was going to disregard these rumors and not let them get to me, which for the most part, I'm not letting them get to me because I understand that Justin Fields is not going anywhere. But I wanted to come on the podcast today and finally put the trade Justin Fields rumors and the Bryce Young will be better than Justin Fields in the long run rumors to bed right here on the podcast today. So all I have to say to you guys is buckle up because this is about to be a really fun and intriguing podcast, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I want to start off today's podcast, A Kick on the Mic, um, by sharing a little clip from the show Get Up. Um, and this clip uh, basically is Lewis Riddick and the guys talking um, about the Justin Fields rumors and trading them or and just about Bryce Young, if the Bears should go with Bryce Young or keep Justin Fields, all that nonsense, right, um, that we've been discussing all offseason long. And it's basically about... Lewis Riddick basically not buying any of the rumors rumors about trading Justin Fields um, and drafting Bryce Young. So this is the, these are the exact words um, that Lewis Riddick had to say about all this nonsense um, about the Bears possibly trading Justin Fields and taking Bryce Young with the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. Check this out, Bears fans. There's something about Justin Fields that I don't know. Is there something about Justin Fields that the people who have kind of taken this whole thing and just Chicago kind of turbocharged it? that they know that I don't know about Justin Fields, that people are saying, you know what, we need to move on from him because he's never going to realize his potential, and Bryce Young is the answer. Because remember, at one point in time during the regular season, it was Luke Getze's the problem. You're running him too much. You're not letting him throw it and develop his and throw, <laughs> develop his throwing acumen. It was get this offensive coordinator the hell out of here. Before that, it was get Matt Nagy the hell out of here. Th these guys don't know what they're doing. Now it's let's get Justin Fields out of here and let's just get a new quarterback. It's like it doesn't like make this make sense to me. No, I understand. Look, I love the kid too, and I loved him coming out of the draft. I wanted the Jets to take him with the second overall pick. We all understand how that turned out. But if I were simply changing the question, because the, they've been looking for a quarterback in Chicago. Sure since Jim McMahon. Yeah. If I were to change the question to who will be the better player in the long run, Bryce Young or Justin Fields, if we took everything else out of the equation. But you but you you can't take everything else out of the can't. equation. Because okay, because if you if you I'll tell you what, if you put Bryce Young with that offense and you took Justin Fields, right? And you gave him two years in Philadelphia's <laughs> offense with AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, and Miles Sanders and Lane Johnson and Jason Kelsey. I'm going to tell you what, I'll take Justin Fields 100 out of 100 times. Well, that's fair. Bears fans, I absolutely loved watching this video. I probably watched this over and over again, maybe about three or four times, um, because Lewis Riddick was absolutely spot on. He says in this little clip that I just showed you guys, make this make sense to me. And that is the biggest issue with all these rumors uh, surrounding Justin Fields, that it makes zero sense. It makes absolutely zero sense um, that the Bears would even consider trading Justin Fields and drafting Bryce Young. In the same video, the question was asked, who will be the better player in the long run? And once again, I absolutely loved Lewis Riddick's response. He said, if you put Bryce Young with this offense, talking about the Chicago Bears offense, with the offensive line, the supporting cast, everything, and you took Justin Fields and put him in Philadelphia's offense with, with A.J. Brown, um, Miles Sanders, with that offensive line, right? All those guys they have, 
I will. T I would take Justin Fields a hundred out of the hundred times. You heard it in the clip. I just repeat it to you guys right here on the podcast. Um, and what Lewis Riddick is saying in that part of the clip is what we have been all saying this whole time. Build around Justin Fields. The one thing that Lewis Riddick did not mention in this video that I kind of want to get off my chest in this video is that if you were to take Bryce Young and once again put him in with this Chicago Bears offense, he wouldn't be able even to hold Justin Fields' jockstrap. What Justin Fields was able to do with absolutely nothing is absolutely incredible. And I am 100% sure that if Bryce Young was put in this predicament, he would absolutely struggle. And that's just my personal opinion. Justin Fields had to elevate his game day in and day out to even give the Bears a fighting chance. Obviously, it didn't work out. The Bears are three and fourteen. It didn't. It didn't come. It, there wasn't a lot of wins involved this season. But that's not taken away from what Justin Fields was able to do with absolutely, absolutely nothing. So that's the one thing that Lewis Riddick forgot to mention. But Lewis Riddick is absolutely right. Put Justin Fields with that Philadelphia Eagles offense. I truly feel that the Eagles possibly can win the Super Bowl with Justin Fields, and that's nothing against Jalen Hurts. I just personally feel that Justin Fields can be a better version of Jalen Hurts when it's all said and done, if in fact Ryan Poles does build around Justin Fields. And I am confident when I'm saying when, when I say that. So that little clip just had a lot of fluff to it. I absolutely love what Lewis Riddick had to say in that clip because he's like, it makes zero sense. It doesn't make any sense why the Bears would consider trading Justin Fields. And I understand that that this may be for leverage um to get more in return for the number one overall pick. Forget that. We all understand that Justin Fields is the guy. Um, Justin Fields is probably already the best quarterback the Bears have had in Chicago Bears history. And I know it may sound bold to say that, but I truly believe that. Once you put the right pieces around Justin Fields, I think Justin Fields will go absolutely nuts. So for the people like Mike Tannebaum, for instance, that are saying draft Bryce Young and trade Justin Fields, personally, I feel that that will never work. Because if you did trade Justin Fields and you drafted Bryce Young and you put him in the same situation that Justin Fields had to go through this season, it would never work. If you're building around the quarterback, okay, maybe there will be some success. But I still don't think that Bryce Young will ever be better than Justin Fields. I just personally feel that Justin Fields offers more than a quarterback uh, like Bryce Young. Um, So I now want to share some stats. And these stats are absolutely mind-blowing to me. Um, and for me, at least, these finally put the trade Justin Fields rumors to bed. And this is just for me. This is my personal opinion. And these stats that I'm going to share on the screen right now for you guys um, are Justin Fields' stats against playoff teams in 2022. So these were his stats against playoff teams in 2022. He had a 62.6% completion percentage. He had over 1,500 total yards with 217 yards per game. He had a 13 to 1 total touchdown to interception ratio. He had a 103.4 passer rating, and he also rushed for 471 yards and two touchdowns in those games. And to add to all this, Bears fans, to add to all of this, four of those playoff teams, those opponents that he went against last season, four of those teams had top 10 defenses. You know what that tells me? That tells me that Justin Fields was able to elevate his game against the best opponents. Once again, did it lead to more wins? No, but there was a lot of games where the Bears were losing by three or one score, right? So the Bears weren't far off. And I can tell you first that it wasn't because of Justin Fields. A lot of it had to do because our defense inability to stop anybody, right? There was a stretch where our offense was scoring 30 plus points a game. And that was because of Justin Fields elevating his game, putting his team on his back. All I have to say, Bears fans, Justin Fields is our guy. Justin Fields is our franchise quarterback. And I, I and I understand that most of you guys don't agree with these rumors or understand these rumors. But now at this point, and the more and more I think about it, Justin Fields isn't going anywhere. This stat that I just read to you guys proves all you need to hear. That's all you need to hear about Justin Fields. And like I said, I'm not going to let them bother me because I understand that Justin Fields is our guy. But I wanted to come on here and show you guys some incredible stats of some reasons why Justin Fields should be the guy. And once Ryan Poles builds around him, Justin Fields will be able to elevate his game even more. 
and he will go absolutely nuts. So I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see how Ryan Poles builds around Justin Fields. But once again, these rumors are over for me because I know what Just Fields can do, and I'm excited to see what he'll be able to do once Ryan Poles actually builds around him. So Bears fans, let me ask you guys a couple of things. How do you guys feel about Lewis Riddick's responses on the show, Get Up? And how do you guys feel about the stats I shared with you guys on this podcast? Let me know down below in the comment section. Before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Make sure you share this episode of the Kick on the Mic with every single Bears from that you know. Better than that, we'll be back for all new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys. And bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic.